number 81. Jackie Smith went from a raw bone 10th round draft choice to the Pro Football Hall of Fame. He set the standard on how to play tight end in the NFL. The Steelers came to St. Louis. The Cards took the wraps off another prize rookie, Jackie Smith. When the Cards staged a tremendous rally to nip Pittsburgh 24 to 23, Mr. Smith really went to town. One man above all others symbolizes the team's fierce determination to win. And this one memorable play on which he broke five tackles amply illustrates the superhuman effort Jackie Smith gives on every play. In his 12th year, Smith is the card's all-time leading receiver and has been named the premier tight end in the history of the NFL. Then relentless accuracy to number 81, Jackie Smith, a tight end some call practically perfect. On Thanksgiving night, there were plenty of fireworks in the Cotton Bowl. With less than a minute gone in the first quarter, Cardinal quarterback Jim Hart fired the first bullet to tight end Jackie Smith. The six foot four, 220 pound Smith outraces the Cowboys secondary for the Cards' first tally. Jackie Smith hasn't been shut out in any one game all season. He's just too good. The day's longest pass is his as the third quarter ends. After a Gogolak field goal, Young Hart found Jackie Smith for a 26-yard advance. Now watch Smith block number 52, release, break to the outside, and bully his way in for the Cardinals' first score. A quick pitch to Jackie Smith is good for six more. This year, Hart has read zone defenses more consistently. Blessed with a brilliant receiving core led by number 81, Jackie Smith. 49-yard strike to Jackie Smith, who beat number 29, Gene Howard, on a deep post pattern as the Cardinals maintain the share of the NFC East with their 24-17 triumph over the Saints. With a third and 16 on their own 35, the Cardinals' Jim Hart hit Jackie Smith who, with a block from the ubiquitous Bobby Joe Conrad, went all the way for a 65-yard touchdown that seesawed St. Louis back into a 10-7 lead. A quartet of receivers gave the Cardinals offensive balance. Jackie Smith continues to be the meanest and along with John Mackey, the best tight end in pro football. He led the team in receptions with 49 or 789 yards. Most of those yards came after he caught the ball, which attests to his fine strength and balance as a runner. One man meeting him head on will seldom win and it often takes a lot more than one tackler to get him down. He set the standard on how to play tight end in the NFL. He changed the position to an offensive weapon in an era when tight ends rarely caught the football. Jackie had 20 or more receptions in each of his first 12 years in the league. In the 1967 season, he caught 56 passes and averaged over 21 yards a catch. He was as tough as they come. In addition to being a talented receiver, Smith was a punishing blocker. Fierce could have been his middle name. Trying to tackle Smith was like trying to stop a truck. He also ran very successful end arounds. He averaged a whopping 13.6 yards on these jaunts and scored three touchdowns. Later, the Giants had Crenshaw stopped in the middle of the line, but Willis didn't have the ball. Jackie Smith did and scored easily from the 11 to put St. Louis ahead. And Crenshaw got some blocks, and following number 81, Jackie Smith, went 66 yards for his second touchdown of the game. Willis carried 26 times in all for 162 yards. Cardinals 21, Giants 7. 
Jackie Smith then made one of his patented receptions in the end zone to tie the game at 10. Big Jackie Smith tallied another score on a quick out pass from Johnson. The Cardinals' only other touchdown resulted from the sheer individual brilliance and tenacity of tight end Jackie Smith. Shortly thereafter, St. Louis quarterback Jim Hart squeezed off a six-point salvo to Jackie Smith in the Eagle end zone. The 13-year veteran made his only other pass reception of the day, an important one also, as this 39-yarder was soon followed by a field goal. A fumble on the second half kickoff gave Jim Hart the chance to put the lead back at 12 with a flip to Jackie Smith. The Lions lost their early momentum and the Cardinals' Jackie Smith swooped into the vacuum of their zone and launched St. Louis goalward. The Cardinals jumped to an early lead as Jim Hart dropped back and looped one to Jackie Smith who made a great catch in the corner. Repeat of the play shows how tough Jackie Smith is, even when presented with the maximum in harassment. A tall, strong receiver, Smith presents quite a problem to defensive backs around the NFL. He just overpowers them. Johnson counters swiftly with a 58-yard bomb to tight end Jackie Smith. The pendulum has swung again. The Steelers blitz again, including a safety. The Pittsburgh rotation fails to pick up Jackie Smith quickly enough. Pittsburgh takes the lead 16-13 early in the third quarter, but the Cardinals battle right back. Jackie Smith takes a Charlie Johnson pass to the Steeler three. He ended the first quarter with a pinpointer to number 81, huge tight end Jackie Smith. The ground camera amply displays the quickness and strength of the 230-pound Pro Bowl performer. The first quarter ended with a minor disagreement between Smith and his tackler. Charlie Johnson's erratic passing was a major problem for most of the day. But here, he was right on target to tight end Jackie Smith. The Cardinals held, and on the next series, Jim Hart delivered a fake so nicely that it fooled nearly everyone. And Jackie Smith took an end around into the end zone for the insurance score. Roland, free Jackie Smith on an end around for the final score of the day. The game ended with the big red on top, 27 to 16. Suddenly, perhaps too soon, it was over. The Cardinals had come from a seemingly insolvable defensive problem in early August to one of the best teams in football by December. Jackie Smith just missed on this one, and his 13-yard end around just failed to get him into the end zone. Within a perfect protective pocket, Hart spears Jackie Smith with a 55-yard bomb to set up the second Cardinal touchdown. The score is worth a six-point Cardinal lead, 20 to 14. Pete Bether kept the drive afloat with another third down completion. This one to Jackie Smith. Two plays later, Smith bowled to the Jets' four to set up Sid Edwards' second touchdown. Jackie had the faculty of coming up with a big play. Trailing the Giants 7-3 at the start of the second half, Smith's 69-yard TD gave St. Louis a lead they never relinquished. The performance of the receivers portended even better things for 1967.
Jackie Smith's man has slipped and he's all alone. The cards take a seven point lead. St. Louis dominates the first half and takes a 10 to seven lead. Jim Hart lateral to Hammond and the ex quarterback from SMU zeroed in on Jackie Smith far downfield. Eighty-three yards later, Smith was caught from behind. Bethard moved the Cardinals 61 yards in one play on a pass to tight end Jackie Smith, number 81. The touchdown moved the Cardinals to within three points at 10-7. Then he bombed it long with a strike to wide open Jackie Smith, number 81. Running about face, the Cardinals scored four touchdowns within nine minutes against New York. With Jim Hart throwing scoring passes to Jackie Smith and Mel Gray. Hart's well-aimed lob to Jackie Smith gave St. Louis an early 7-0 lead. This time, both Hart and a receiver were able to get together as he combined with Jackie Smith on successive plays of 11 and 12 yards and two first downs. Despite being a tight end, the mammoth but quick Smith has averaged more yards per pass than the wide Cardinal receivers. Venerable Jackie Smith used his 11th season to demonstrate why he is the model by which all other tight ends are measured. With 41 receptions, number 81 became the National Football League's all-time tight end in number of passes caught. His career totals are now a staggering 434 receptions for 7,188 yards, both Cardinal team records. The Cardinals continue to deceive the Pittsburgh defense with this end around by Smith, good for seven yards. With five minutes left, St. Louis started a drive that seemed to be destined for the end zone. A superb play-action fake to Crenshaw froze the defense, and tight end Jackie Smith was wide open in the middle for 24 yards. Smith, along with John Mackey of the Colts, is the prototype of the superior tight end. He has great hands and moves, and when he gets the ball, has the ability to drag a tackler with him for the extra yards needed on key third down plays. Here, he beat strong safety Glendon Thomas, and Hart led him perfectly for a 52-yard explosion to the Steelers' six. When he retired, he was the all-time leading receiver among tight ends. He was rewarded with a trip to Canton, Ohio in 1994 and was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. The Football Hall of Fame is a place where my great-great-grandchildren can come and where Grandpa can forever remain young and, and forever catch passes. <laughs>